um, let me give you a quick overview of what this plugin do, can do. So this plugin searches for all the links on your blog. And sometimes what happens like when we have an old blog, many of our old links, you know, are broken. Those websites are down or those websites are deleted. And you need to know one thing that broken links are dead road, broken road for the search engine crawler and it's bad for your SEO. An active site or any live site should not have any broken links or have minimal broken links. Now, how do you fix that? Now, this is the plugin that is going to help you. But first, let me give you an alternate option. So I've been using this plugin called Broken Link Checker for a while, but this plugin is very old. Uh, it got like about four lakh downloads and I have talked about this plugin in one of my earlier video as well. It's a good plugin and if you don't want to spend money, you can try this plugin. But the other plugin, uh, WP Link Status, this one seems to be pretty good. And I just downloaded this plugin, tried on one, one of my blog, and I'm quite impressed with the speed and most important, my website is not going down. One of the major problem and with the broken link checker, this plugin is the old one. Your website or your web hosting might go down because it consumes a lot of resources, which is pretty bad. But with the WP Link Status Pro, we can do the same thing and get more features. But the only downside is it's a paid plugin and it costed me about $17. Let me give you an overview of this plugin, how this works and how it will help you. Number one, you install this plugin and after installing this plugin, you have settings over here. Now click on settings and this is what you will get. So now uh, this is my default setting and I, I think like default setting is good enough to get started with. You can specify the connection timeout and all those things. Maybe I, I think I would increase this to 25 seconds and click on save settings. So these are the settings that you can configure. Um, in most of the cases, you can you are good to leave it like that. What what really interesting here is this URL tool, which let you no follow any website link. So let's say you have linked out to a few websites and you want to now make those links no follow. You write the domain name here and that's it. Click on execute test process. That's it. If it will found any new entries, it will mark it as no follow. So you need to click on new scan to configure a scan. You can give it a name. So let's give it a name, complete checker. You can define what all you want to check links and images. I would suggest select both. And you can define like how, what should be the order of uh, crawling. Well, I think it's better to select, start from oldest content first, because uh, most of the time your older content will have broken links and you can enable or disable emails. I usually disable the emails because I would like to keep my email inbox clean. You can also select the post type, which is very useful, especially for those who are using custom post type. And that's it. Now you should also scan your comment links. And this is what I've seen with my main blog, Shot Me Lot. Most of the time the comments link are broken or they, they are redirected to some spam website and it definitely hurt your overall blog ranking. So you need to take care of all this thing. And then you can have content filter. In this case, I'm not going to touch this. Now this is where it gets very interesting. So you can track the link by status. Let's say if you just want to track 404 error and you don't want to track redirected in, you just need to enable this 400 errors or you can manually enable few of the 400 error status error that you want to check. And this is very useful because you would be learning something new. And you know, if you're, if you're planning to work online for a longer period and which I think you are, you should learn all this thing. It's not like something that you need to remember. You see it and you would know next time you would know, okay, 404 error is broken, not found link. And here you can see like what exactly error code means. So 404 is something that you must have seen multiple times. That is when a page is not found. 301 is redirection, which is again very useful. But in this case, let's just select everything then click on advanced and you can save scan changes. So now here you can save and run the scan or just save the changes and you can go to scan over here. So here you will see uh, this is the scan that we just created and this is the scan that I've created uh, before that. I'll show you the result from that so that would help us to save time. So click on show results and here it goes like you know you click on request error this will show you all the links on your blog which are broken. So in my case, I have these three links I've already unlinked and now I'm going to do the same for these three links. 
just in case if you don't want to use this you want to cross verify you can always click on link from here this will open the post in edit mode and you can copy the anchor text here just search for the anchor text and you can see like okay this link is broken so let's and this is what you need to do like once you have selected those links you need to click on a link all right and it, it, everything happens in second now this is what i like about this plugin though the scan might take a lot of time depending upon how big your blog is but you know this kind of thing you should do once in a month and it will help you to keep your blog clean now here let's let me show you uh, what happened to this link so here you can see this is already linked now let, let's refresh this page and let's see so the link is gone Ta -da. so you, this, like this you, you can use it on any number of blocks that you have the, this is something that you should always do another thing that you can do is click on 300 redirection one thing which you would know that most of the website are now moving from http to https now so that actually take one redirection what you can do you can fix that with single click so here we go we select select those links you can see this is the link on my blog post and this is the new url so it's basically 301 redirection now if you do this or don't do this it won't make a lot of difference but i would personally suggest that you should do it since using this plugin it hardly takes few minutes to redirect all your old links i think you should definitely do that and also you should keep in mind like in some time you know you see a link is redirected to some other domain name so you should always check what is that new url is that something related or something sometimes spammer buys an old domain and they redirect it to you know spam website for money or for anything spreading malware so you need to take care of all this thing and let's just quickly fix this and we need to select option call apply redirection click on set redirection let's see what happens perfect it's, all those links are modified even if you disable the plugin in future it won't affect your blog whatever the changes that you are making it's all permanent and it's pretty good so this is what this plugin can do it can do a lot more thing i would let you explore everything of your own the only thing which i suggest when you install this plugin for the first time let the set up the scan and let the scan complete its job maybe what i would suggest install run the scan in the night and next day see the result i'm gonna do this with all my blog and for now uh, you can download this plugin from code canyon it's a pretty popular website to download wordpress related stuff and many other stuff i've given the link in the description and if you have any other question regarding this plugin or regarding broken link do let me know and before i go i would if you like this video do hit like do subscribe to my channel